so things could possibly end tonight as we are headed to game number six with a three to two lead so as long as we play good play as a team uh, play like we've always done all season long we should be able to get this one so both teams are set to go you got Miami who's definitely not trying to lose this one because who is trying to lose the last game after all of the hard work they have put in all season long so here is the playoff tree three to two will Shane Battier come up big in this one he came up certainly big in the last game knocking out all those threes you have the Black Mamba JaVale McGee Zach Randolph and then you have my guy here so will it be any of those players or will it be someone from the Lakers bench so without further ado let's start this game so we have won the tip off we're playing eight minute quarters i know uh you guys asked for it to be longer but previously it was five minutes but i didn't make it seven eight minutes excuse me so we start things off by giving it to zach randolph he gets me the first assist of the game and the game is tied up here uh has them nowhere to go he was almost gonna get caught for this violation so he inbounds it the ball gets tipped i take it in a lot of contact it doesn't get caught but i get you know, my first points of the game. So two points, one assist there. LeBron James getting a pick from Haslam. He decides to give it right back to him on that alley-oop. But that one doesn't work out. So here, I'm cherry-picking. I get my four points, although that was goaltending. They still reward me with the basket. Chris Bosh takes a mid-range shot. And that one doesn't go down. So we are fast break. Kobe Bryant to Zach Randolph. Zach Randolph passes it right to me in the paint. I get the layup. Dwayne Wade being guarded tight by Kobe. Shot clock ticking down. Dwayne Wade takes it inside, gets blocked. So here we go. I'm running down the court. Who's right next to me? Ooh, look at Shane Battier right next to me. And he blows the three-pointer. I mean, that has to be a little disappointing. Uh, he had a perfect pass. Wide open look. He's been knocking it down all series long. But right there, he just doesn't knock it down. So on the other way, Chris, should I say, LeBron James ties things up. Take it inside on Earl Boykins. I have Chris Bosh right in front of me, so that leaves character wide open. And uh, surprisingly, he knocks this shot. So we're up two points here. Two minutes remaining in the quarter. Earl Boykins tries to get, you know, a little shot in close to the basket. It doesn't go down, so I'm attacking now. And I get another layup, which is called goaltending. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade being guarded by me. So he can't he has to get the ball out of his hands. Haslam doesn't knock down that shot. So here we are. Uh, I don't want Buttinger to shoot it. We could have kept it for the last possession of the quarter. But for some reason he decides to take that three-pointer right there. So here is Miami for the last play of the game. It gets tipped out of Dwayne Wade's hand. So I get a good look at a three-pointer. So that's the first half for you a pretty defensive game as the game is tied up 13 13 i get substituted out and i come back in with about four minutes remaining this is when i started heating up and i started to take over you know the game but in the first quarter i was passing a lot but here i decided to you know take over the game by shooting a couple three pointers i get back to back to go down so we're still only up by three points because you know miami is doing their thing too so so far i have 14 points to assist and i'm only shooting 50 percent from three point line so i'm gonna keep on doing that as Dwayne wade knocks down a pretty you know mid-range shot so he cuts it to one point now another way Dwayne Wade attacking once again ditches it out to Haslam and Haslam doesn't knock it down so here we go will I give it to Jamal Crawford who's on my right side oh it's Shane Battier and he comes back apologizes for missing that last one and he knocks down the three-pointer so 10 seconds remaining here in the first half we're gonna hold it let me use character's pick. Take it inside. Three seconds, two seconds. And Shane Battier pump faking. But Dwayne Wade is right there to block his shot. So that's the first half. Earl Boykins all over me. I give it to Randolph. And Randolph hasn't disappointed me yet in the paint. So that's ma making it five assists now. So I'm just going to be batting down. Uh, Boykins taking it inside, drawing the double team, and look at this. 
I don't know why Battier was standing so far out from the three-point line, but that could have been another assist. So I decided to reset, take it inside. My layup doesn't go down, but look who was right there to clean up the boards and get a putback slam. Dwayne Wade to Haslam. Haslam struggling all game long. Shot clock ticking down. Dwayne Wade. His shot doesn't go down. Uh-oh. I thought for sure Miami was going to get that rebound, but here we go. Give it to the Black Mamba. Call for the ball right back. No one is on me. Take my time for this three-pointer. So we are slowly pulling away here. Here's our last possession of the game. We are headed into the fourth quarter, which is going to be a pretty big one. So we're looking to get something out of this possession right here. JaVale McGee sets the screen. A second remaining. I lob up the three-pointer. It wasn't that great of a look, but that's the third quarter for you. We are winning 47 to 42. So again, I'm being substituted out. Hopefully I come back in early in the fourth quarter and the Heat don't score a lot of points here. So 49-44 here, and that's when I'm going to be checking in. And that's when LeBron James, the chosen one, was heating up. So he cuts it to three points here. And on the other way, we're trying to get something going. Earl Boykins all over me. You know I'm going to be batting him down, taking it inside, hoping to draw a double team. But... Jefferson was left wide open here. He didn't want to take the shot. So I take over here. Do a little Rajon Rondo hesitation. Get that layup to go down. And look at this. That was pretty. I've never done that all game long. Should I say all season long? And finally, we're, you know, making our layups a little stylish. So Earl Boykins on the other way now. Tries to look for LeBron James, but doesn't find him. So Mike Bibby gets a good look at a three-pointer. That one doesn't go down. So here we go. Jamal Crawford. You got Richard Jefferson. But none of them got open on time. So you have LeBron James all over me. So I take it inside. And another powerful layup. LeBron to Michael Red. Right back to LeBron to cut it to one, two points. And he does. So late in the game, we thought we had everything going our way. But LeBron says no, no as he knocks down that three-pointer to make it a two-point game. So shot clock ticking down here. I give it up to JaVale McGee. And JaVale... You know, he's not going to be knocking down no shots. Misses it. And on the other way, LeBron James ties things up. So 232 remaining. We need every single possession that we can get here. As I start things off by doing what has been working for me all game long. Which are those inside layups. So everything we've been doing, the Miami Heat have been responding right back. So as you can see, the score is 57-55. And so far in this game... 27 points, 1 rebound, and 5 assists. And my field goal percentage is skyrocketed here, 55%. And LeBron James now being guarded by JaVale McGee. Nowhere to go. So he is looking for his teammates. Gets Dwayne Wade right there. And now they have to get something up here. 3 seconds, 2, 1. And Dwayne Wade shot doesn't go down. But Chris Bosh came out of nowhere to collect the boards and put that one right back up. So... One minute remaining here. Things are tied up again. I forced it a little there. That one doesn't go down. So I'm starting to get a little nervous here as LeBron James takes it inside. Nowhere to go. Uh-oh. I thought Michael Red was definitely going to take that three-pointer there, but he doesn't. So he settles with a wiser shot. Now they go to Dwayne Wade. They're killing a lot of clock here. Dwayne Wade back out to LeBron. And LeBron and alley-oop to Dwayne Wade. So after dominating all game long, Miami comes and takes the lead here. But another way, I give it to Zach Randolph, and he does this thing in a post. So here we are, uh, 17 seconds remaining. Dwayne Wade, uh, who will more than likely get the last shot of the game. I'm pretty nervous right here. If they knock this one down, they'll be headed to game number seven. LeBron's shot doesn't go down, and we have five seconds here to work with. Shane Battier inbounds the ball in. Two seconds remaining. Earl Boykins all over me. And the shot doesn't go down. So we will be heading to overtime. And what great competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters of stalemate. And we'll see now. JaVale McGee wins us the tip off. And we have four minutes right here. And let me call a pick. No one wants to give me a pick. Come on, guys. Randolph finally right there. So I pull up for the mid-range shot. That was a pretty weak one. And we get called for over the back. 
Zach Randolph is out there with JaVale McGee. So here's Miami with their first possession of the overtime. Earl Boykins giving it to Bosch. Bosch to James, who has been working on his post game all offseason long. But he gives it to, you know, Earl Boykins. His mid range shot doesn't go down. So here we are. Another opportunity here. I take it inside and another powerful layup right there. I've been doing that all game long. Next possession now. Kobe Bryant finds me for the three pointer. So we go up by three points here at a crucial time. So a minute remaining. How will Dwayne Wade respond here? He has Kobe all over him. So he decides to give it to James. And now James being offered two picks one by Chris Bosch the other by Michael Red he takes it inside a mid-range shot doesn't go down for him so now with 50 seconds remaining I'm gonna be holding the ball come on oh LeBron James reached in and he got called for the ball so I'm gonna pretty much hold it here take as much time off the clock as possible uh, uh oh I'm being double teamed here Get rid of the ball. I thought I walked there. I got rid of it. Shane Battier jacks up the three-pointer right away. And Zach Randolph is right there to get the offensive rebound. So now we have an opportunity to kill even more time. So here we go. I'm just going to take as much time off this shot clock as possible. So now that we have eight seconds remaining, I do call for the pick. And look who's right there, right next to me. Look who's right there, right next to me, JaVale McGee. And we get another alley-oop. So here's LeBron James on the other way. They're down by five points. Give it to Earl Boykins. Earl Boykins, pump fakes. This is it out to Michael Red. Michael Red, nowhere to go. Gives it to Bosch. And Bosch right back to Earl Boykins. Earl Boykins misses that layup. And this game is pretty much over. We have done it. My player has won the NBA championship. Oh, wow. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. From the owner of the team all the way down to the ball boys, you have to hand it to the entire organization, Steve. They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually, in front of the home crowd. What a night. Nice Tremendous team for a very hard fought series. Six games that have led to the NBA championship. Who would have speculated when this season started that the team on this stage would be the last one standing? Congratulations to the players, the coaches, and the fans of the 2012 NBA champions. The Los Angeles. Congrats on the title. You kept them at bay pretty well this series, and the outcome really wasn't all that close. Did it feel like you were the better team throughout? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, we won, didn't we? I don't think that really matters in the grand scheme of things. The important thing is that we got the four wins first, and now we're the world champs, baby. It wasn't easy, but we did it, and no one can take that away from us. No one, not even Coach. Sorry, Coach, just kidding there, man. Uh, sort of. Man, I, I didn't think you were ever going to pass that trophy over during a post-game celebration, though, man, for real. So when I got in the main menu, I noticed I unlocked the Jordan billboard. Now, what this billboard is, is it goes on the street. So this gives me even more publicity because we were in a commercial where Amazing Happens commercial. But this is, you know, in on the streets. It's going to give me more publicity. And it has my initials on it and my number. So it's looking really, really nice. And another, uh, you know, 
magazine that I unlocked was a 2K Sports magazine, and this is the NBA Championship. So whenever you win a championship, you unlock this one, and this is pretty much 2K Sports congratulating me. And I love the captions on these. One of them is "How you like me now," and the other one is "Haters beware." Anto's already thinking repeat. So. Both of these look really nice and also I was the finals MVP so uh, two milestones right here not only winning the NBA title but also winning the MVP and in the playoffs I averaged 11 should I say 18.2 points per game two steals 0.6 rebound and 6.6 assists per game and also 46 field goal percentage now after that I don't know this picture came up right here the White House I thought for sure they would show Obama just like Madden Obama like you know with their team but they didn't really show that and right away it goes to the offseason so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to say thank you for all the support and honestly means a lot and soon we'll be back with another my player thank you